Have you ever noticed that there are bumps in the middle of your back? Yes, I have. Those bumps are called vertebrae. That's right, and vertebrae is a really big word. But the vertebrae are just little bones that are put together just right to make your backbone. The backbone has a really important job to protect the spinal cord. The spinal cord is made of nerves that carry signals from the brain to the rest of your body. For example, if you move your hands or your feet, the signals are traveling from your brain down the spinal cord to tell your body what to do. So since the spinal cord is so important, it needs to be protected. And that's the job of the backbone. So let's make a model of the backbone, and we'll use these hard candies to model the bones that are the vertebrae. Now remember, there's lots of different bones, and they're put together just right. Okay, so here's our model. Now the real vertebrae aren't shaped exactly like this, but they really do have a hole in the center for the spinal cord. So let's try bending it, because our backs can bend, right? Okay. Oh, we have a problem. This isn't a very good model. Well, actually, in our real backbones, in between every single one of the vertebra is a cartilage disc. I know what cartilage is. It's what makes up our nose and our ears. That's right. And if you fill your ear or your nose, you notice that you can kind of squish it. Cartilage is a lot softer than bone. So let's model cartilage with these gummy candies. All right, let's see if this backbone can bend. Oh, it can bend. Just like our backbone allows us to bend. And these discs of cartilage give cushion in between the vertebrae and they allow us to move and do all the different things that we're able to do while still protecting the spinal cord. Now people have backbones, but we're not the only ones. Did you know that there are so many different animals that have backbones? Let's look at some examples. Dogs have backbones, cats have backbones, horses have backbones, lizards have backbones, snakes have backbones, fish have backbones, birds have backbones, frogs have backbones. Wow, we could go on and on. There are so many animals with backbones. And all of these different backbones have a spinal cord that they protect, that carry messages to and from the brain. Now the animals that have backbones are called vertebrates. Now it's important to remember that not all animals have backbones. For example, insects and worms don't have backbones, but that's a conversation for another day. So remember that backbones, wait a minute, I'm sure that our model used to be longer than this. Where? Well, it is a tasty model. We hope you enjoyed learning about backbones with us today. See you next time.